you know, when we were doing this mural, I, I never quite got it finished. And I quite often have the kids come over here and we work around on the bottom of it. I'll have them do little things like putting in the land, teach them long strokes. And on the water, I teach them to keep it level. It gives me a chance to work big with the kids and they, they get right into it. And the different things of depth, we've got this corner in here, which is tough to do to make it keep going with the corner in it. But they got in here and painted the rocks and different things. They picked up a lot of, a lot of uh, good information for them if they want to do a mural. And down here was the Indians and the campfire. I had the kids work on, on the bottom and around. And every once in a while I'd have them do color, try to fix color on the Indian. But the kids, the kids got a lot of fun out of working on this thing. They just they all want, took their turn and come over and painted with me. And, and I think it was uh, one of the things that we did with the kids that gave them a lot of good information. And I probably will still do some more on this with the kids too. I see some things that they could help me with. Now these four paintings, I painted all of them in uh, like a three-day class. There was this uh, gallery that taught people and they would tell me if I would come and do the three-day class, I'd paint one of these paintings and I'd teach maybe 12 to 15 people and go through those classes. So you can see the composition is all pretty simple and put the strength in the middle. It was a teaching thing. But some of them I like better than the paintings I take a lot of time on. You start out with a three-day class and you work through with them and maybe block it in, get the action, and whichever did you. I'd, one of them would be a, for one class and two weeks later I'd do one for another class and another one. But I always tried to get the composition so I could keep them, have the power in the foreground. And everybody seemed to be more pleased with painting that way. Because if you get caught up in doing a lot of detail, you're gonna, your students are gonna start to yawn and and you got to keep them busy and, and get the highlights in and little action and power in the paintings. And I depicted mostly the country that I grew up in and the type of stuff it was. But uh, what would happen, I would do these things and we had, the group would all go to lunch then. And if they had any placemats, I got a pile of placemats and I had to sketch on every one of the students. <laughs> So while I was sketching on these placemats, I dream up another composition for my class. Worked both ways. So, but then when it was all over, I gave the people the gallery the paintings. Like I, I didn't care. They gave me all the money for teaching and that's where these came from, all of these. And you can see they're all pretty much the same composition. But I enjoy, enjoyed doing that. I enjoyed meeting all the artists and students. I see a lot of them yet. And it, uh, it's fun painting, but uh, sometimes when you're painting fast like that, you actually do better because you don't have the time to fiddle around with detail and stuff, and sometimes fiddling around with the detail, you ruin the whole thing. And I, I had a lot of fun out there doing the, uh, that bunch of paintings for these people. Well, this painting house was demonstrating for a group of artists and I started with this body like all this. I, I was a positive and negative thing I was doing. And I got the horse up there and then you can cut in, uh, as that dries real fast, you can cut in and you can draw better by cutting out the background. So, And when I got done demonstrating, I didn't have any of this in there. And quite a bit of the ground and stuff, it was just the sky and the, and the image there. And I thought, hey, I can make a painting out of that. So I went into the background and brought the wagon train in and then you have to try to create distance after you do that. You lay this shadow down and then slowly run those shadows out. So I had fun doing this and I was doing a series on PBS on teaching painting and they wanted me to go out and ride a horse and then paint and do a few things out there out of Ellensburg and I did and I painted and it was, I was about froze. But I like the old barn and the old corral and everything is exactly like it was. And I got about half done and boy, I was glad when they quit filming. 
Anyway, I got it home and I started looking at it and I said, I'm going to make a painting out of that. And I really enjoyed doing that. It's mostly palette knife, but uh, the figures and things are done with the brush. But then I enjoyed it. I kind of like this painting. I really do. This is me. This is me. I had that same uh, jacket on that I was riding the horse with. And I even in the, we show the movie every once in a while, and everybody knows that that's me and that's that barn. So it was kind of fun doing it. You gotta do something a little different once in a while.